Hi there, folk. Welcome back. Just before the break, or in our last session, we were looking at area. And we're going to pick it up again, and we're going to do some more calculations on area, but the calculations are going to get a little more complicated. All right? But just to recap quickly, what is area? Area is the space that a flat figure takes up. And remember we always said area is measured in units squared. So either millimeters squared, centimeters squared, meters squared, or even kilometers squared. Okay, and then we looked at a few formulas as well, and we said when we're trying to calculate the area of any rectangle, we just say length times width. Square, we can look at a rectangle and let's just say it's length times width, but we know for a square the width and the length are the same thing. Okay, triangle, we said was half times base times perpendicular height. In other words, the height that's uh, at 90 degrees to the base. And then circle, we came up with the formula where we said to calculate the area of a circle, it's pi times r squared. Right, let's go and look at some examples. Now, for your birthday, a friend gives you a rare lucky coin that has a square cut out of the middle as shown in the photo and diagram. So there's the photo. The photo is not 100% clear, but here's a nice diagram of it. And so you can see you've got this lovely lucky coin and they've cut out a little square in the middle of that coin. Now, what's our question say? Our question says you measure the diameter of the circle to be three centimeters and the length of one side of the square to be 0, 0,9 centimeters. Calculate the area of what the coin, in other words, the bit that's left. Round your answer to one decimal place. Okay, let's take all this information and we're going to put it on our diagram. The diameter of the circle is three centimeters. So let's go back, let's have a look at our circle, and we're saying that the diameter of the circle is three centimeters. Now guys, if the diameter is three centimeters, what's my radius? Well, my radius is always half the diameter. So if my diameter is three centimeters, my radius must be 1,5 centimeters. The question also says this, that the length of one side of the square is 0, 0,9 centimeters. So 0, 0,9 centimeters is the length of that square. Now, folk, because we're dealing in a square, I know that all the sides have to be the same. So if this is 0, 0,9, what is this? It's also going to be 0, 0,9 centimeters. It has to be, hey? It's a square. All right, so what we're wanting to know now is this. Then I had my magic little coin, or lucky little coin. I've cut out a little square in the middle. How much of the coin remains? Well, folk, I would presume what we have to do now is we have to take the coin, calculate the area of that whole coin, then calculate the area of the little square in the middle and subtract the square from the whole coin and that will give me what's left over. So let's do that and I'm going to do that right here on this page where the diagram is. So the area now of the coin is pi times r squared. And remember it's a full circle so we're not going to half it at all. Pi is 3 comma 142 and my radius we said was 1 comma 5 centimeters and folk we're going to square that. Why? Because the formula says radius squared. Square the radius. So we say now I've got 3.142. I'm going to multiply that by 1.5 squared and I'm going to get an answer then of 7 comma 0695. So 7,0695 centimeters squared. Let's find, and we can round that. Okay, I'm probably going to round it at the end. Now we're going to find the area of the square. And we're going to say area of a square is actually equal to length times breadth or length squared because I've got 0, 0,9 centimeters and the length and the breadth are exactly the same thing. So when I say 0, 0,9, 
multiplied by 0, 0,9 or 0, 0,9 squared, I'm going to land up with 0, 0,81. So 0, 0,81 centimeters squared. Right. So we've calculated the area of the circle. We've calculated the area of the square. Let's now calculate the area of the leftover coin. So we're going to say the total area or area left is going to be 7,0695 centimeters squared minus 0, 0,81 centimeters squared equals calculator 7.0695 minus 0 0.81 equals and my answer is 6 comma 2595 um, right centimeters squared but folks the question did say round your answer to one decimal place so when I round that that five is going to affect the two and it's going to be 6 comma 3 centimeters squared easy cool now let's have a look at another example here below is a diagram of miss brown's property she has a house and a pool okay here's her house here's her pool obviously this is not really drawn to scale and please understand as well that it looks like she has an enormous pool. It's almost as big as the house. Right. So looking at that, our first question is this. The area of the entire property is 150 centimeters squared. Determine the width of the property. Now, guys, this is kind of interesting, hey? Because up to now, we've always asked you to calculate the area. Now, in this question, we're giving you the area, and we're asking you to find one of the missing sides. Now, I've been told area is length times breadth. I know that the area is 150 meters squared. How do I know that? The question just told me. Okay, now when I go back and look at my diagram, I can see that I'm told the length of this house is 20 meters, but I don't know what the width is. So if the length is 20 meters, we got to find the breadth or the width. Okay, so how am I going to do it? I've got to get breadth by itself. To get breadth by itself, I'm going to divide this side by 20 meters so that that disappears. So because I did that, I'm going to do the same this side. Now I know that 150 divided by 20 is going to give me a weird wonderful answer. 150 divided by 20 and there it is, 7.5. So the width of my house is 7.5 meters. And that is the way I answer a question when I'm given the area and I have to find one of the missing sides. So seven and a half meters, I'm going to go back and say, guys, I know what that is. That is actually 7,5 meters. Right. Now, my next question says this. Miss Brown wants to plant new grass in her garden. Grass costs 20 rand per square meter. Will 1,500 Rand be enough to cover her garden with new grass? So Miss Brown has got this house, she's got the pool, and she's got fenced off her whole yard. Okay? And what she wants to do is plant grass. So let's go back and look at this diagram and just say this. So here it is, her house, her pool, and all this area here. In the fence, she wants to plant with grass. And we need to know, will she have enough money? Because she's just got 1,500 rand. And will that be enough money to plant all the grass? Now, folks, before we can even worry about the money, we need to say to ourselves, myself, how much area needs to be covered with grass? And again, a very simple process. I'm going to find the area of her whole yard. 
then I'm going to find the area of the house, and it's a weird looking house, isn't it? It's got like a domed bit in the front. And then I've got to find the area of the pool. When I found the area of the house and the area of the pool, I can subtract those areas from my whole yard to see how much grass or how much area needs to be grass. So let's do that. And I'm going to do it on this page, mainly because I've got all our dimensions right here. Okay, so we're starting with the basic one. Let's start with our actual pool. And I'm going to say area of the pool is going to be length times breadth. The length of the pool is 6 meters and the breadth of the pool is 3,5 meters. So let's now multiply this out. 6 times 3.5. 6 multiplied by 3.5 and I'm going to get an answer then of 21. So I've got 21 meters squared. Now let's find the area of our house. So the area of the house is a little more complicated because I've got two different shapes in my house. Let's have a look here quickly. I have a little rectangle and I have a semicircle. Now, the rectangle is easy. It's length times breadth. But I have to add the semicircle. And the semicircle, area of a circle, is pi times r squared times a half, because it's half a circle. The length of my house is 8 meters. The breadth of my house is 4,2 meters. Plus, pi, we know is 3,142. Now, what is the radius of the circle? Well, this side of the house is 8 meters. That means this length is 8 meters. But that is a diameter. Why? It goes from the edge of one side of the circle to the edge of the other side of the circle. So if that is 8, I know that from the center to the edge, which is called my radius, must be 4. So I'm going to say times 4 meters, and I'm squaring that. Times a half equals, so let's work all this out on our calculator. We're going to go, right, 8 multiplied by 4.2, and I get an answer of 33,6. So 33,6. 33,6 what? 33,6 meters squared. Plus, and we do the next part, 3,142 multiplied by 4 squared multiplied by a half. Why? I got half a circle. And I land up with 25,136. 25,136 meters squared. We're going to add those up now, so to that we're going to add 33.6 and my answer is 58,736. So 58,736 meters squared. Right, now, what area now needs to be grassed? So my grassed area is the whole area of my yard. And remember, we were told that, eh? We were told that it's 150 meters squared. So we're going to say it's actually 150 meters squared minus the house of 58,736 meters squared minus the pool of 21 meters squared. So the area that needs to be grassed is actually going to be 150 minus 58.736 
minus 21. And my answer now is 70, 264. So 70, 264 meters squared. That's what has to be grasped. Now, folk, so what we've done, we found the area of our pool, we found the area of the house, we found, we were told the area of the whole yard, we've subtracted from the yard the house, the pool, and the leftover area needs to be grasped. So how many meters squared must Mrs. Brown buy? Okay, she's going to have to buy, now, 70, 264. She's told that one meter squared of grass cost her 20 rand. Was it 20 rand? I'm sure it was 20 rand. Let's just have a look here quickly. Um, yeah, 20 rand per square meter. Now, folk, here we got a slight problem. And our problem is that the area we've got is not a full meter squared. It's 70 comma 264. Ms. Brown can't go into a hardware store or go into a, a nursery and suddenly say, right, I need 70 meters, oh yeah, and I need a little bit more, so I'm just going to take from this tray of grass. I don't need the whole tray, just they're going to say, hey lady, you can't do that. So how much grass does Mrs. Brown actually need? Well, 70 will not be enough. There's going to be a patch that's not going to be grass. She's going to have to buy 71 meters squared of grass. She'll have a little bit left over, but that's okay. And then we're going to multiply that by 20 rand to see how much it's all going to cost her. So looking at that, we say 71 multiplied by 20 rand equals, and it comes to a total of 1,420 rand. Now, folks, have we answered the question? What was the question? The question was, and we'll go all the way down here to read it, will 1,500 rand be enough to cover her garden with new grass? What have we done? We have calculated it and we've said it's got to be 1,420. So we've got to answer the question. And will 1,500 be enough? Therefore, 1,500 Rand will be enough to grass her yard. Okay got to end with what the question has actually asked us. Right, let's just uh, quickly then summarize this. In summary, in this segment we've covered the following. We've explained what area is and we've calculated area in various examples. I hope that's helped you. Come back after the break. We're going to be start looking at a bit of volume. All right, chat soon.